Hello and welcome to Crestwood Clips. This short video will show you how to set up a sample workflow in Dynamics GP 2015. The steps are the same if you're using GP 2013. The only difference is you have more predefined workflows to choose from in the new version GP 2015. Here's the different workflow types that you can choose from. Notice they've enhanced the predefined workflows quite a bit in GP 2015. Let's go ahead and set up a sample workflow. You go through the main menu to Tools, Setup, Company, Workflow, and Workflow Maintenance. In here is where we'll set up all the steps and conditions and assign the tasks or approvals to the appropriate people involved in the workflow process. Make sure that you've thought through your workflow process before starting to set this up. We're going to do a sample workflow that specifies who's going to pick out a vendor for a purchase requisition and who's going to approve it. If we look under purchase requisition approval, we already have a workflow set up. The green check mark means that that one is active. We're going to set up a new one that says one person picks out the vendors for any new purchase requisition that gets submitted. If that purchase rec is over $5,000, a manager needs to approve that order. If it's greater than $25,000, a director needs to approve that purchase rec. Let's go ahead and set a new one up. We click on purchase requisition approval, go up above, click on new workflow, and the first thing we need to do is give it a name. Then we give it a short description. And we want to save it right away. The next thing I want to do is just take a quick moment to look at the options in the screen. Notice here, under our workflow, we have a bunch of options. So we can have the system send notifications for completed actions. If I click in this box, I then get options when to send notifications. For this particular workflow, I want notifications to go if things are recalled, escalated, edited, or once a final approval is done. We also can send a copy to certain people of these items. I click on OK. You also can allow anyone who approves something to delegate the task to someone else. You can choose if you want to allow the originator, so in this case the person who filled out the purchase rec, to also approve it. You can state that you need to require at least one approver, and you can also state that you can use alternate final approvers. Below, we have options for when a task is overdue. If a task is overdue, we can say take no action escalate to the next approver if we have multiple ones in line, escalate to someone else, or reject the overdue task. We're going to go ahead and say escalate to the next approver. I'm going to go ahead and save my workflow again, and then I'm going to add in my steps. The first step I want to do is set up who's going to select the vendor for the purchase rack when it gets submitted. I go up above for my purchase new purchase rec approval one and add a new step to it. Notice that new step shows underneath purchase rec. I'm going to give this step a name. Which is just select vendor. The select type, this would either be a step that would require approval 
or a specific task. In this case, selecting a vendor is not an approval, it is a task type. Next, we're going to set up a condition if it requires a condition. For example, in this step, there is no condition, we just need somebody to select a vendor. However, when you're approving it, and I'm saying if it's over $5,000, then someone needs to approve it. That's when we would set up conditions. Next, I go ahead and I assign this to somebody, and I set up a time limit. I click on my magnifying glass, and I can either choose specific people and groups from my Active Directory and my network, a hierarchy, or a workflow role. For example, the originator of the document, the manager requested by. In my case, I'm going to choose a specific person. Monique always selects the vendors for any new purchase rec. I go ahead and I put her in, add her down below, and now Monique will be the person that selects the vendor. I click on OK and you see her name come up. If you want her to get a message stating that she has a new task assigned to her, I select send message and it comes up with the email template called assign PO rec approval. If I want to see what that email message would be, I can click on the word send message. That pops open my email template and I can go ahead in here and make adjustments, modifications, and changes if need be. The last thing I need to do is take a look at the completion policy. I only need one response in this case, so I'm just going to leave it there. I go ahead and I save my step, and now I see that I have a step in here, select vendor. The next step is to add in that it needs a manager approval if the amount is greater than $5,000. I go back and click on new purchase rec approval 1, the workflow name, go up above and add in a second new step. This step, I'm going to name Manager Approval, and in the description, I'm going to put if it's greater than 5000 This step type would be an approval, not a task, so I'll leave it at Approval. And I also have Order. If I wanted to move this under the Select Vendor, I could do that. However, we can leave this one at this as the first step. I do need to set up a condition. The condition is that the purchase rec needs to be greater than 5000 So I'm going to choose Action is Required only when the following condition is met. I click on the little arrow over here to the right, and I go ahead and select the field that I want to test the condition against. In this case, I'm going to choose the field Work Document Amount. I scroll down to find my Work Document Amount, and I choose the condition that I want to say it's greater than, and I put in $5,000. Notice I can compare this Work Document Amount to a constant, such as 5000 or I can choose to compare it to another field value coming out of Dynamics GP. I go ahead and click on Add, and it puts my condition statement in here. I click on OK. I now assign the approval to the manager. In this case, we're going to choose Donna as our manager. And notice I'm giving her one day to approve this. I send the message, and I'm going to leave the completion that we just need one response. I go ahead and save my step, and now I have select vendor and manager approval. The last step was to add in the condition that if it's over $25,000, I also need the director to approve it. I would go ahead and add in new step, 
and this time call this director approval. Here I would go through the same process and set up the condition, assign it to the director, send a message, and choose my completion policy. When I'm all done, I go ahead and I see that I have this purchase rec approval set up. I can go ahead and delete it, copy it, expand it, collapse it by right clicking on it also. Make sure that you think through your workflow processes before trying to set these up. Sometimes drawing a diagram will help you to think through the process and make sure that you don't have to redo them multiple times. You also can go back in here at any time and click on a specific step and make changes and edits to those workflow steps. Thank you for joining us today. 